Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 22. Moreover, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Now, son of Adam, will you judge? Will you judge eth the bloody city? Yea, you shall show her eth all her abominations. Then say you, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, The city sheds blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and makes idols against herself to defy herself, rather to defile herself. You are become guilty in your blood that you have shed, and have defiled yourself in your idols which you have made. And you have caused your days to draw near, and are come even unto your years. Therefore have I made you a reproach unto the heathen, and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near and those that be far from you shall mock you, which are infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Yashadael, every one were in you to their power to shed blood. In you have they set light by father and mother. In the midst of you have they dealt by oppression and, rather, with the stranger. In you have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and have profaned at my Shabbaoth, rather, Shabbathoth, In you are men that carry tails to shed blood, and in you they eat upon the mountains. In the midst of you they commit lewdness. In you have they discovered their father's nakedness. In you have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one has committed abomination at with his neighbor's woman and hath another has lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law, and hath another in you has humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In you have they taken gifts to shed blood. You have taken usury and increase, and you have greedily gained of your neighbors by extortion. And have forgotten me, says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, therefore I have smitten my hand at your dishonest gain which you have made, and at your blood which has been in the midst of you. Can your heart endure, or can your hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with you? I, Yahuwah, have spoken it and will do it, and I will scatter you among the heathen and disperse you in the countries, and will consume your filthiness out of you. And you shall take your inheritance in yourself in the sight of the heathen, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, the house of Yashadael is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin, and iron, and lead, in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Yerushalayim, as they gather silver, and brass, and iron, and lead, and tin, into the midst of the furnace, to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted 
in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, Yahuwah, have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, say unto her, You are the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many windows, rather widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my Torah and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Shabbathoth and I am profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest again. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, when Yahuwah has not spoken. The people of the land have caused oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed at the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, says Adonai Yahweh.